Fujian, a diplomatic powerhouse. I'm Gao Shen, and I will take you to the forefront of Fujian foreign affairs. Here we're at Fuzhou Changle International Airport, where today we welcome an old friend of the Chinese people, King Narodan Siamani of Cambodia. King Siamani's private jet has just arrived in Fuzhou in September of this year, when President Xi Jinping met with Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Manet. He noted that the two countries' ironclad friendship is unbreakable. I also believe that King Simon's visit to Fujian will effectively propel the China-Cambodia friendship further. Speaking of Cambodia, some liken it to the pearl of Southeast Asia, a metaphor that I find very fitting. As an important note in the Belt and Road Initiative, Cambodia a country with a long history, seamlessly blends tradition and modernity, showcasing a sense of inclusiveness, openness, and developmental vigor that is highly anticipated. Here we are at the CNG Hotel, situated on the shore of West Lake in Fuzhou, at the foot of Pingshan Mountain. Tonight, a grand welcoming banquet will be held here. What special arrangement has the venue made? Let's take a look together. Stepping to the banquet hall, you can see that the stage is particularly unique. These translucent and dazzling fu boats are crafted using traditional dehua white porcelain techniques. Dehua white porcelain, known as bronze china in international circles, has been the highlight at state banquets on multiple occasions. Our camera can get a closer look. We can see that these boats, laden with flowers, have a smooth porcelain surface, a crystal clear quality, and three-dimensional cut flowers. At the center of the flowers is China's national flower, the peony, while beside it is Fujian's provincial flower, the Narcissus. As for these yellow flowers, I did some research in advance and found out they represent Cambodia's national flower, the Rongzhuo. These flower filled boats symbolize the ever blooming friendship between China and Cambodia, as well as their harmonious prosperity and flourishing goodwill. In fact, this is King Nardong Simon's second visit to Fujian. The album I'm holding in my hands is a collection of images from his visit in 2010. Let's look at this photo. It captures King Simon's planting oasis wall a type of Jintao grass, with his own hands at Fujian Agriculture and Forestry University. Today, this Jintao grass still thrives on the university campus, reaching an impressive height of 7 meters. The Sino-Cambodian friendship, much like this happy grass, remains vibrant. Also in my hand, I have an item from 40 years ago. This is from 1983, when King Simon's father, King Narodong Sihanouk, visited Fujian. Across the span of 40 years, the Sino-Cambodian friendship has been continuous. This moment in Fujian is truly extraordinary, and both this album and the old newspaper will be presented as gifts to King Simon, preserve lasting memories while also creating new ones. This year marks the 10th anniversary of China's principle of amity, sincerity, mutual benefit and inclusiveness in neighborhood diplomacy proposed by President Xi Jinping. It is also a crucial year for advancing international diplomacy with Chinese characteristics in the new era. China is joining hands with Cambodia to embark on a new era of building a high-level and high-standard community with a shared future. Together, the two countries are shaping a diamond hexagon cooperation framework as well as constructing two major economic corridors, the Fish and Rice Corridor and the Industrial Development Corridor. Fujian is a significant nurturing ground and practice area for Xi Jinping's thought on socialism with Chinese characteristics for a new era. The delegation led by King Nardom Ceremony will visit Fuzhou and Xiamen over a period of three days to study Xi Jinping's thoughts on the governance of China and on ecological civilization, while also gaining insights into the practices in Fujian to advance Chinese modernization. In recent years, Fujian province and Cambodia's Kampong Speed province have signed an intention letter to establish a friendly provincial relationship. Fujian has established a friendly relationship with Phnom Penh City, and Fuzhou and Siem Reap City have become sister cities. 
The mutual trust between China and Cambodia has been strengthened, laying a solid foundation for cooperation. Among the first 14 overseas projects on the Belt and Road Initiative, the first officially operational project was the Cambodia Zhangzhou Modern Agricultural Industrial Park. In 2023, Fujian hosted the first ASEAN China Week event, which aims to promote practical cooperation between China and Cambodia. Fujian also co hosted the China Cambodia Film Culture Exchange Week and organized events like China Xiamen Fujian. Cambodia Film Week in Xiamen City to enhance cultural exchanges. In diplomatic affairs, there are grand events and small but meaningful moments. Fujian uses actions to showcase its cooperative spirit to the world. By doing so, it builds friendships, benefits people, and wins hearts. Fujian, a diplomatic powerhouse, it is one to watch.